A once small farming community in Williamson County is growing fast and seeing major development. KVU's Matt Fernandez takes us to Taylor to show us what's in the works and checks in on how the city is handling all that growth. Taylor, Texas sits in Williamson County and it's growing quickly. One of the biggest projects, the Samsung Semiconductor Facility. You can see the construction progress at the plant along FM 973. It's set to open next year, bringing a $17 billion investment to the community, more than 2,000 jobs according to city leaders. It's not the only project going on. The county broke ground Monday at the Williamson County Expo Center just a few miles away. We just broke ground on a new covered West Arena here at the Expo Center in Taylor. This facility is going to be uh, magnificent to support this complex. The arena will be nearly 80,000 square feet. Russell Fishback is the senior director of the Williamson County Parks and Rec Department. Support uh, the need for, for more space. Uh, we have uh, about 82 events a year right now at the Expo Center, and we turn a lot of people away just because our calendar is full. Uh, and so this will give us the ability to host multiple events as well as uh, larger events. That includes the county fair and rodeo, which brings in around 13,000 people in October. The new facility is right next to the old arena. Predominantly agriculture related events, but we could also do even a concert in there on the dirt floor. The more than $10 million project is paid for by Williamson County residents through a voter approved park bond. As Williamson County grows, the need for public spaces and spots where the public can meet increases as well. Bull says as they continue to build facilities like this, city, county, and state leaders are trying to keep up with the traffic the growth brings. To work towards making sure that we have the right roadways in, in place at the right time and it's a bit of a balancing act. FM 973 near Samsung has already seen improvements. The county also working on the East Wilco Highway which would be a connection between Hutto and Taylor. Bull says the city of Taylor continues to work with the Brazos River Authority to make sure there's enough water supply. Says there's a lot of moving parts but it's an exciting time in the county. We're investing in our future when we build these facilities and when we build new roads. And that's not just for us, right? I mean, that's for our kids and our grandkids. In the boomtown of Williamson County, Matt Fernandez, KBU News.